Hey Shalom, I want to start this video off by giving all praises to the Most High in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Call it Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekapadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, the Word, and He calls God, Bahashem in the name, Yahweh Shai is only begotten Son, the the Word, and He calls Jesus Christ. Letter J is only 600 years old. He was he died three, over 2,000 years ago. But he's being raised up uh, in these last days. Okay, becoming the uh, first fruit of them that slept. 144,000. Um, and here's the thing. Um, I want to go into my testimony and some scriptures. Okay, with us facing the forehead. And uh, Hawk has this. Uh, this post right here, okay? So, basically we'll go into it. Finally the truth comes out. The truth, the truth through the knowledge has been hidden. This is a man from heaven. Um, actually, um, the fear of the Most High is the man of, you know, the sense of death, you know? So, like, we gotta prove all things, prove what's evil and good for us. Okay, um, I'll put, I want to put some scriptures in the description below, but uh, I'm got to stay open though, but the Most High, He made everything, okay, He's in all things too, so we got to understand that, okay, um, so at the same time, um, there's man-made and there's, you know, the Most High made, okay, so, um, He's got some pretty good scriptures um, from Exodus. Okay. Um, looks like little beard buds. Small round thing. Kind of big too. Okay, it makes sense of why, you know, man has magic restrooms. I would understand where it's coming from for the spirit. There's a lot of benefits, okay? And uh, I got my story that I want to share with you guys because Satan tried to buy my soul. Matthew 24 and 24, Psalms 41 and 9. Basically, the Illuminati came after me. Wow, and uh, basically, I said no, you know, because I didn't bow down to the, he the most high reserved uh, 7,000 men who wouldn't um, bow down to the image of Baal. Okay? So, I already knew it was up because there was no strange God among me and the Most High when he was talking with me outside, okay, through the moon, through wisdom upon his throne. And uh, I know it sounds crazy, but um, how, it's how you come to the light. You, you, you can come to the light by messing up in your life, you know. So, um, you know, that's when people commit suicide and they wonder how they come out of that. Um, you know, people have bad trips on mushrooms and acid and these, uh, even drugs they uh, advertise on television, okay? So, um, the thing is, uh, you, you have spirits, you know, your flesh is more sensitive, okay? Your flesh is weak when you're on a more spiritual uh, um, sedative, okay? Some that alters, okay, your uh, sobriety. That's what they teach us in, uh, teach us that and, uh, you know, uh, uh, that's what the, uh, drugs, uh, the drug center, uh, addiction centers, uh, tell people, okay? But we know, um, those are faith-based, you know? So, um, when I was in there, you know, because I smoke weed, okay? So the thing is, like, you know, everything that they're, they're saying, you know what I mean? So the thing is, uh, he's got some scriptures right here. Exodus uh, 16, verses 14 and 31. And when the dew was laid up, was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness, there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoarfrost on the ground. Okay. In the house of Yasharala, Israel, called the name there of manna and it was like a quarry arter seed white and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey 
but mushrooms, they, they have a bitter taste, man. Uh, they don't taste very good. But, uh, got another picture. I didn't see this one. Manna was round, was found on the dew ground. Well, it's lucky. Manna was round, was found on the ground, and the dew would melt on the mush. If not dried or collected on time, it would breed larvae. All unique characteristics of mushrooms when dried, it was like waffles bread and the color was like coriander seed hmm. it consists the same color of dried mushrooms so there's a deep there's a deep see but the thing is there's there's dark there's dark powers with it as well it's good okay so um that's the thing. I'm not telling people to go eat mushrooms, okay? That's the thing, because we got to work out our own fear and trembling. And what our, our, we got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Nobody can really save anybody. We can only push them and, you know, if they, we, can, we can't force them to listen. They have to hear it for themselves, you know? So, and that's what we, we try to tell people, you know? What up? 220. Don't be an observer at times, you know. Numbers 11 and uh, 7. 9. And the manna was as quarter eater seed and the color thereof as the color of the dunlion. And the people went about and gathered it and ground it in mills and the, or beat it in the mortar and baked it in pans and made cakes of it and the taste of it was the taste of fresh oil, and when the dew fell upon the camp in the night, the manna fell upon it. I'm basically just showing you guys how mushrooms were used in a, in a dark, dark way, okay? Uh, basically, I was like, I would love to tell you my story of when I accidentally was revealed the secret of mushrooms. Templar, me and the Illuminati came after me, you know, brought me to this place, and it matches up with um, basically my friend, you know, he took me to this place, matching up with Psalms, uh, right after I told him I seen the UFOs, you know what I mean? He ate my angel bread, you know, my testimony, you know, my precept, you know, and, uh, tried to set me up, Matthew 24 and 24, but I, I wasn't deceived, and, you know, I, I feel like, uh, he, he had me sealed way before that, so he had me taken care of already. And Satan can't fuck with me because, you know, Most High um, got me, you know. So uh, I was basically like, uh, you know, I told uh, my, one of my buddies, and he, he took me to this bar, and it was like that movie from Dust Till Dawn. This is before I seen his face in my forehead. He's like, I, I was like, I'd love to tell you my story when I actually was revealed the secret of mushrooms. Templars came after me, and while I was tripping in this bar, like it was the owner of the bar I met like I, I was he, he took me to this bar and they, everybody in the bar was waiting for me and uh you know they knew I was tripping on shrooms so I knew it was a setup all right uh you know the, the what happened to the fool happened to me you know what I mean I'm gonna bring that up in scriptures um you know they can pass me about you know people came and looked at me, you know what I mean? It was just a setup, you know, from that, like that movie from Dust Till Dawn. But, uh, so while I was in this bar tripping, the owner, uh, he had a tattoo, and it was like a five-pointed, uh, Baphomet goat, okay? So I was tripping, and I was beating everybody in the pool. I feel like they were letting me win, you know? That's how I know, because I wasn't really trying. So, uh, they was trying to get me to stay there. And you know how when you, you, you're trying to leave, they, they want to get you to stay even more? I'm going to bring that scripture out too, okay? But uh, listen to this. They're trying to deceive me and trying to force and make me a king. And, um, this, this, this was the Illuminati, man. They were trying to make me a, a famous uh, sold-out rapper. Uh, and, that, and, and when that's happened, I was still calling upon uh, uh, Jeremiah 23 and uh, 13. I was still calling upon the wrong name. And that's how it was revealed to me. I was calling upon, uh, like that scripture says in Judges 10 and uh, 
ten and uh, let me bring it up. Judges ten and I'll show you guys this. Basically, uh, Luke 24 and 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. That's what's on my forehead. Revelations 22 and 4. And I seen his face and his, then I heard his name in my dream. Right after I seek the names with my whole heart and my whole mind. You know, because he says, it's your whole heart. I'd like to check my position and ready for pickup. So, how can I help you? He's like, uh... Sorry. Well, let's try this. If you're calling about... What is this? Yeah, Tobit 13 and 16. If you turn to him with your whole heart and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him, then he will turn unto you and will not hide his face from you. You know? And, uh... I'm trying to say the one when he says, oh yeah, Jeremiah 23 and 7, and I will give them a heart to know me, that I am Yahweh the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. And it's, there's, a, there's a verse that says, when, when you seek with me with your whole heart, then you will find me. I'm trying to find it. I'm to to find but what I'm trying to find is uh, uh, on off topic because hang on this guy's tattoo okay hang on this guy's tattoo okay it was like a, a it was witchcraft, all right. So they got they got me on shrooms, and the tattoo the tattoo activated uh, the shrooms, the dark magic of the shrooms. And uh, I called upon that. Oh, there it was. Yeah, judges. Yeah. I called upon a strange god. And uh, it's in judges. Judges ten. 13, maybe, uh, no, 14, go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen, let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation, so basically I was surrounded, but he delivered me, like, like he delivered, He delivered me out of all of them, just like uh, the Psalms. I think it's a song. This is one of the Fisherman's Mary. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, I was calling. Yeah, Second Timothy three and eleven, persecution, afflictions, which came unto me at a touch in Iconium and Lystra, was persecution. I endured, but out of all of them, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, the Lord delivered me. And, uh, so, but basically, uh, it was like the messengers of Satan, you know. So, uh, let me see. This is uh, 2 Corinthians, I, and that's what I believe that was, uh, because after I said no and refused to join whatever they were trying to get me to join that night, that Illuminati, that cult, whatever, um, basically he's like, do you know what you are? Do you know why we trust you type deal? And, uh, you know, I've seen Satan's face, 2 Corinthians 12 and 7. And at least I should be exalted above measure to the... Uh, the phone number for Meyer is 574-254-2500. least I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations that was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me. At least I should be exalted above measure 
And that's meaning, um, because when you're anointed, uh, you know, because a lot of people don't know, who, we don't know who our, we don't know who the sun is. Nobody knows who the sun is, okay? We just know he's coming back and all the, and all the holy prophets and everything, okay? Okay, So that's why, like, uh, we gotta bash our ignorances. No. Okay. <clears throat> so we're at, uh, 4 and 25. Uh, 21. For, for there is a shame that brings sin, and there is a shame which is glory and grace. Except no man against thy soul, and let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. So, you know, Acts 4 and 12 tells us there's only two names under the heaven whereby we must be saved. So, you know, in John 17, verse 6 and verse 26. Um, talks about the names um, that I had in my dream. So I'm about to bring that out too, real quick. And I refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good, and hide not thy wisdom and her beauty. Wisdom is the moon. She entered into me, Proverbs 2 and 10. But many that go on to her return and again, because she also does the killing, she's the gates of the hell. She's the treasures of hell and snow, spoke of in Job. For by speech, um, for by speech, wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. And no wise speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of thy ignorance. Be not ashamed to confess thy sins, and forest not the course of the river. Make night thyself an underline unto a foolish man. And that's what a lot of people have done, believing in this uh, Jesus name. Um, that's Jeremiah 23 and 13 coming out, man, you know. Strive for the truth unto death, okay, even unto the end. Second Exodus 14 and 35. Then we shall live again, and the real name shall be manifest. And Yahweh the Lord, Hashem Yahashai, shall fight for thee. You know. And that's, uh, that's just beautiful. But, uh. Whoso giveth ear unto her, which is wisdom, shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely, which is sure, you know. Um, that's your testimony. And that's what this is, a testimony. A movie being uh, played out, okay? Psalms 19 and 7, the law of Yahweh the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. You know, I died twice, so... You know, it's when you're given a second chance. It's just like when you're risen in a day to the next day. Um, that's like a converting from this day to the next day. So it's, you know, knowing that you got evidence of life in your body, you know, it's just turn back from your ways, whatever it is, and try to learn um, from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. They, those are my elders and my upper, mas my upper masters. But we all have one master, you know. But it's not ourselves, it's the Most High God who created us. The law of Yahweh, the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yahweh, the Lord, is sure, making the wise, making wise the simple. And uh, 21, you know, he put it on my head, you know. The king shall joy in thy strength, O Yahweh, the Lord. And in thy salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withholding the request of his lips. So law, for thou preventest him with the blessing of goodness. Thou set us a crown of pure gold on his head. Ezekiel 16 and 12 right there. Okay. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest it him, which is up in my forehead. Okay. Which is wisdom of Solomon 5 and 2. Matching Psalm, uh, Psalms 40 and verse 3. Um, he asked, Life of thee, and thou gavest it him, um, even length of days. And I want to bring that out because there's a lot of it's in here. And it is a small word, but don't take nothing of small matter uh, lightly, you know. His glory is great, and thy salvation, honor, and majesty hast thou put laid upon him. If you go to Ezekiel 16 and 12 through 15, you read that the Most High put this upon my forehead. 
Um, let's see. For thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceedingly glad with thy countenance. For the king trusteth in Yahweh the Lord, and through the mercy of Yahweh the Most High, he shall not be moved. And that's matching Daniel uh, 6 and 17 and uh, Isaiah 40 and verse 20. That's beautiful, you power, brach the Yahweh, brach the Yahweh, sir. Go to Yahweh, brach the Yahweh, sir, brach the Yahweh, sir, brach be thou exalted, Yahweh, in thy own strength. So we will sing and praise thy power. Um, another, uh, so basically, I wasn't deceived by these, by these people, right? Um, for there shall rise false Christ and false prophets which are left handed prophets alright you gotta understand there's a left hand and there's a right hand you wanna make sure you're on the right hand cause if you're on the left you're getting left alright and shall see great signs and wonders so that's what happened with these mushrooms alright and so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect so I ate shrooms for a month straight when I was on house arrest by myself and I feel like the most high put it on my spirit to strengthen myself for that moment. So the thing is, um, I used rooms for a month straight until nothing happened anymore, basically. And uh, I feel like that was a, a strength in my spirit, you know. But the fear of the most high, some people are scared to try these things, but you got to prove what's evil and good for thy soul. Um, and this is uh, like this picture right here. Um, you understand the light is shining from the east and shining onto the west. Let me get, get it Matthew 24 and 27. For as the light cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. You know, we know the Most High um, only knows who the Son is, okay? Um, so let me go back to that. Uh, let me go back to this, okay? Cause Satan tried to buy my soul that night. And it's by tricking you. It's not by saying like, I mean, your words are powerful, yeah. So that's why you rebuke him. You say, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ukshah, 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 Shamaria, Shamar, Sakya, Manyan, Shaitan Warai, which means protect me from Satan and evil. Baba Kasha three times, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Amen. And the name, you know, that's the Father in the name of this, the, uh, the Son and the Holy Spirit. But, um, so that thing in my forehead was what saved me, this wisdom and the wisdom of it now, okay? And those t the testimonies, the dreams, and that's what I wanted to bring out for you guys. They're not sent during your visitation, set not their heart upon them. Uh, spoke of in the Apocrypha. Um, yeah, yeah. So like, uh, thirty-four and six. If they be not sent from the Most High Yahweh in thy visitation, set not thy heart upon them. For dreams have deceived many, and they that, and they have failed that put their trust in them. The law shall be found perfect without lies, without guilt, you know, without mischief. And wisdom is perfection to a faithful mouth. And that's how you're going to learn of wisdom. Um, and that vision of the night like Job, if you jump up to verse 3, the vision of dreams is the resemblance of one thing to another, even as the likeness of a face to face. We know that, uh, I'll show you guys something real quick. We know in Genesis, uh, I guess 32, <laughs> yep, face to face, how's the spirit? I didn't know if I could do that, that was a spirit. Um, a resemblance to the face to face, so match this up, that's how you line up the scriptures. But we know from Exodus, um, 32 or 33 and 21 and Psalms 40 and verse 3 of 
too that that rock is where the most high's throne is and uh basically i'm gonna jump to exodus 33 because it might be the uh but we're gonna see his back and not his face if you keep reading the end of exodus 33 um so, um, actually, I need to, I need to, and actually, I need to note that, actually, you know, um, but there was no strange God among, among, uh, when, when my visitation came, there was no strange God among, uh, when Matthew 24 and 24 happened, there was that, uh, that she's your Borgia, that that's Satan, man. I'm telling you guys, man. Strange God among uh I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Um because that, that's how I figured it out. It was the most high by the spirit, you know. I didn't figure it out, it was the spirit with the understanding, you know. It's just like your body's a tool and you gotta use it righteously wholeheartedly and uh so that strange god is the, the, who i seen that night when i seen that five pointed star and that uh the, that goat okay the baphomet and that's uh so basically uh i think it's in derotomy nope uh, the strange gods are these these gods of the nations you know we know that there's only uh, that's Isaiah. We know that there's only one, one most high God. You know, Isaiah 43 and 12. I have declared and have saved. I have shewed when there was no strange God among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith Yahweh, the Lord, that Yahweh, I am the. He's the most high God. I don't like calling him God because I'm going to show you why. Okay, because they call him uh, Jesus God, okay? And he's the little God. He's not the, the most high living God, okay? Uh, call it God. Just yeah. like here. Where's the Solomon? 14 and 8, but that which is made with hands is cursed as well as he that made it, he, because he made it and it, because being crypto, it was called, you know, God, Jesus, that's Satan, you know, Barak 2 and 15, that all the earth may know that thou art the Lord, our God, so you, that's the, the, the Lord God of Jacob, you know, Abraham, Isaac, you know, because Israel, which is, you know, those are the forefathers of the bloodline of Israel, and his prosperity is called by thy name. So the thing is, like, I heard these names in my dream right after I seen his face, matching up with, uh, let's go to Second Exodus. Well, actually, because that face to face, okay? Hang on. We'll go. It's the very last one. 23. I will take away my hand, and thou shalt see my back parts, but my face shall, th shall not be seen. So it was like that face-to-face -face, uh, spoke of in Genesis. Okay? And, uh... So basically, um... Uh, <clears throat> let's read this, okay? Um... Basically, I'll start out from the top. I want to tell you my story of when I actually was revealed the secret of mushrooms. Templars came after me, and while I was tripping in this bar, it was the owner's bar, and everybody knew about it that I was here. You know what I mean? They revealed themselves just as much as I'm revealing myself, you know, because the, we got to know that the Most High, He shoot His Son openly, okay? Um, I was tripping in this bar, the owner. He was obviously a part of Illuminati. He had the tattoo. Okay, came up to me and flashed his satanic goat five-pointed star tattoo. 
the activated, whatever witchcraft they're trying to do, the crafty councils, the uh, the the wicked invention. Uh, we gotta pull it out. Fruitless. But that's what it was. It was fruitless. I seen Satan. He tried to, you know, he tried to enter into me, but you know, this is the thing. Uh, it's not what enters into a man that defiles him. I'm going to show you guys. This is talking about that dude's tattoo or any of these graven images, okay? Wisdom of Solomon, uh, 15 and 4. For neither did the mischievous invention of men deceive us, talking about the elect, nor an image spotted with diver diverse colors. The pain is fruitless labor. And uh, that's about that tattoo, okay? Um, I seen Jesus after he act he showed me that tattoo, okay? And the thing is, I heard an old man tell me the same thing. He seen Jesus in a bar room. So then I was like, the same, the same thing that happened to the fool happened to me. Because I, I heard that in the AA meeting um, way, years way before this happened to me. So the thing is, I was, I'm, on, I'm on my detective stuff now. I'm uh, like David and Goliath, all right? There's Goliath, there's this uh, Jesus name out here. Um, it, which is really Bell, okay? It's really Satan. It's really the Bell of Dragon, okay? And uh, it's Jeremiah 23 and 13 just coming out, you know? The people praying on to s s dead things, okay? And ha we're inhabited by devils. Um, so the tattoo that activated the dark magic I see in Jesus connected the dots because it was a satanic tattoo, okay? I'm not blind to it. Um... Dots is satanic, and he was afraid, cause I know like uh, that show Lucifer. He he didn't show his face very much, all right. So the thing is, uh, you gotta understand, Satan isn't a scary uh, guy with horns, okay? It is uh, it is a, a blue-eyed uh, white figure, man. Looked like a ghostly figure, an aberration, man. And the thing is, uh. There was no, he looked like he had, he looked mean, man. That's what he was, man. Looked like a, a white mean man with a, I mean, it looked almost like a, like a woman. Like half woman, half a uh, man. Looked like Mona Lisa and uh, Jesus uh, together, okay? So the thing is, that's that Mona Lisa thing too, that is uh, witchcraft too, right? Like look, paintings like that, because that's the thing. If you just only knew, you know, because people get alert by those things, okay? Back in the day, that was like, uh, you know, showing cleavage. Like, there was like, there's talks of ancient pornography on, like, cave walls and stuff. You know, it goes it goes back. The thing is, look, uh, I seen Jesus connect the dots because it was a satanic, uh, a satanic uh, uh, tattoo. And uh, when I seen, you know, when I seen that face in my forehead, I was, I thought I was doomed because I thought it was the mark of the beast, you know, 666. Because they came after me and tried to basically begill my mind, try to deceive me. But as I started reading, reading between the lines, I started to understand, okay. Um, from the long, from the long garment, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 18, 24. From the long garment was the whole world. And in the four rows of the stones was the glory of the Father's graven. And that graven image is talked of about uh, in Isaiah uh, 40 and verse 20. Isaiah 40. Um, let me bring it up because it's just better, you know. Uh, Isaiah 40. Let me see if I'm right. Yep, that's it. Prepare a graven image, okay? The Most High has his own uh, graven image. If you read Isaiah 40, 41, okay? 41, and he's talking about, it's like a riddle, okay? So, um, this is talking about it, all right? The carpenter is the Most High God, in verse 13. And uh, verse 15 is talking about how he made his uh, salvation is sealed. Um, 
spoke of the glory. This is the glory of the Most High spoke of 24 and Luke 24 and 49. Okay. Which wasn't revealed until these last days. Then for sure it would be for a man to burn, you know. You and his graven image, you know. I'm going to show you guys that. Um, 44. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Verse 17, even his graven image. So, you know, we know the most high talks and riddles. And uh, once, you know, he's put that spirit on you, then you start to un understand how the most high, uh, you know, he'll reveal things to you through the, the comforter. And uh, I'm going to go back to that, okay? So I uh, break it down the wisdom of Solomon 18, 24 for you guys. For in the long garment was the whole world, and in the four rows of the stones was the glory. Spoke of in Luke 24 and verse 49 of the Father, Yahweh, the Father's graven in thy majesty, Yahweh, upon the diamond of his head. Ezekiel 16 and 12, you know, which the Most High put upon me. Unto these, the, you know, the 144,000 people who were, you know, coming to this truth, you know. Unto these, the destroyer gave place and was afraid of them, for it was enough that they only tasted of the wrath. Um, so, like, that wrath was, like, basically... Okay, uh, just like First Samuel seventeen forty three, and the Philistines said unto David, "Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves?" And the Philistines cursed David by his gods. Um, but at the same time, if that's the case, you got to look at Isaiah fifty three and uh, Job, um, um, because the Most High had touched. Uh, because the Most High, when He's really dealing with you, He, 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 He'll reveal, uh, you know, who have believed our report, unto whom is the arm of the, the Most High Yahweh revealed. Um, let me, uh, I gotta pull that up. Our report. Let me match this up real quick. This is like connecting the dots. Isaiah 53. It's beautiful. That's where I wanted to go, anyways. Um, just like, uh, and this is beautiful because people don't understand, this is, uh, this is that testimony, man, and, uh, if y'all read that, man, it's just like, he's despised and rejected of men and man, sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him, he was despised and we esteemed him not, matching the wisdom of Solomon 5 and, uh, 2. So that one though, then the righteous man shall, uh, then the righteous man stand in great boldness. I'll slack it. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him. That's on the left hand and on the right, okay? And made no account of his labors when they see it. Okay, that it is in my forehead, spoke of in Psalms 40 and verse 3. And, uh, that's beautiful, you know, that it is, uh, the gift uh, from the Most High, it, the crown, the, 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 the victory, you know, that's the, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of the salvation so far beyond that they look for, and, uh, you know, if y'all read all that, y'all already know what's up, you know, um, because I, I, you know, just want to hurry up and get through this because I didn't want to make this video so long, but, you know, this is a very, very edifying video to the ears who can hear it. Um, unto these the destroyer gave place and was afraid of them, for it was enough that they only tasted of the wrath. You know, because we haven't suffered the same things, but they, we were counted happy, you know. But neither did the mischievous invention of men deceive us, nor an image spotted with diverse colors, 
the pain is fruitless labor. So this is wood, this wood graven images and uh, these tattoos, this uh, wicked uh, witchcraft that they do. Okay. And actually, that's just it's like runes. Okay, that's what it was that night. It was like a rune, and that mushroom activated the rune. And uh, so basically, Matthew twenty four and twenty four. That's what happened in that room. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't explain the elephant in the room with my fleshly wisdom, okay, or any of the world's fleshly wisdom. Like, uh, Job couldn't be convinced, the world couldn't convince me, you know, and I had to look, I had to rely upon wisdom, okay. And uh, the thing is, uh, you know, what brought me into this truth is when my life was, I mean, I was brought to that bar room like a sheep to the slaughter. Okay, and the, the words that I said before in there, I said, dude, I love you, bro. Because this dude was getting real dark and depressing, so I started I started getting and understanding what he, he just did. And I seen the circular, the, the stars above me, start, uh, man, just making circles, you know what I mean? Uh, that was the dread, okay? That was the dread of the most high that night before I went into that bar room. And, uh, that's why you don't want to just listen to anybody. You, know, you want to prove all these names you pray to because you could be praying on suicide. You know what I mean? And that's like when Job said, at home there is as death at home or something like that. At my house there is, is as death or something like that. But uh, during my visitation, that's what it felt like. And I'd rather, I'd rather choose the fear of the Most High than you know the, the comfort of the flesh. You know, but uh, Psalm 69 and verse 20, you know, they try to tell me what it is and basically said I could basically go against the most high. And I was like, what's the thing, man? Don't listen to nobody. Try to call me out as a devil or a demon. Um, you know, that's, that's what they... So it's they they uh they said that to the uh the uh the, the real prophets you know. But uh. You know I seen who Jesus is you know it's the Illuminati man it's uh, Satan, who they're worship worship in all these places. Um, a cult scout gave me mushrooms and asked me pretty much to bow to his God you know Jesus you know, the owner did man. And they started playing music uh, along with the shrooms to, uh, cause there's old music from back in the day and it's actually witchcraft. I didn't know though, because weeks before that happened, a scout gave me free acid, I overdosed, maybe even died that night, but the Moon Wisdom, the Moon Wisdom talked to me in Sirach. I don't know if that's what it, it, that's what it felt like. Being in the presence of the Most High, you would have felt like you died. Those are unpleasant places, all right? I went to hell that night and heaven that in the same night. You know, and me telling you this is a signet, you know, my signet, okay? My elms, okay? Because it cleanses your body. Um, maybe died that night, but the moon wisdom talked to me. Sirach 1, 6, and verse 7, Proverbs 2 and 10 entered into me. And there's more scriptures upon her entering into me. Um, I'm going to show you guys Wisdom of Solomon For she is more beautiful than the sun And above all order of, the, of stars Being compared with the light she has found before it For Yahweh the Most High God loveth none But him that dwelleth with wisdom And she protected me from my enemies And uh, she preserved me You know what I mean and uh, that innumerable riches, which uh, that's actually a riddle to Psalms 40 and verse 12, because the UFOs, um, those were the, she, she's the mother of the UFOs, the angels, the evil ones, and the good ones, okay? They come to pluck and plant, okay? Spoke of in Job. All good things came together, Slaki, all good things together came to me with her, and innumerable riches in her hands. And I rejoiced in them all because wisdom goeth before them. And I knew not that she was the mother of them. You know, Psalms 40 and verse 12. Those are those, uh, when you're being tried, you know, by uh, other angels, man. 
I, I learn diligently and do communicate her liberally. I do not hide her riches, for she is a treasure unto men that never fail it. Spoke of in Isaiah 44. You know, he, 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 uh, he drinketh water in his faint or something like that. Which they that ye, that which they that use become the friends of the Most High God, being commended for the gifts that come from learning. So that's the thing. When you learn where, where wisdom is, who she is, um, you'll be opened up to uh, spiritual gifts. Okay, she'll be with you. You know what I mean. Yahweh, the Most High God, hath granted me to speak as I would, and to conceive as is meet for the things that are given me. Because it is he that leadeth unto wisdom and directeth the wise. For in his hands are both we and our words, all wisdom also and knowledge of workmanship. And uh, this is what happened the beginning, ending, and midst of the times. That's what I've seen the alterations of the turning of the sun and the change of seasons. I've seen that that night. I've seen like three angels, and then those th same three angels surrounding me um, that night. All such things are either secret or manifest them I know. Um, so this thing is what I want to talk about. She, she entered into my hope in my into my soul. So like you, for she is the breath of the power of the Most High God Yahweh, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of Yahweh the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her. So you have to be undefiled, right? For she is the brightness of the everlasting light and in the unspotted mirror of the power of Yahweh, the Most High God, and an image of his goodness. And being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. And, and in all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of the Most High God, Yahweh, and prophets. For Yahweh, the Most High God, loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. For she is more beautiful than the sun. And above all order of stars being compared with the light she has found before it. Um, and that's bringing up a candle and a. Some candle in a dark, dark place. That's what the moon is a candle in a dark place. Second Isaiah 12 and 24. For all thy the prophets thou art. Saki, for of all the prophets thou only are left us as a cluster in the vine in the vintage and as a candle in the in a dark place and as a haven or ship preserved from the tempest that's what suicide is and you know those raging waves spoke of in uh um wisdom of solomon 14 um you know judgment okay um, let me show you guys real quick. 14. Yeah. So that's why you don't want to be calling on any any names, you know. And uh, any other names, but the, 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 the true name spoke of in Acts 4 and 12. But uh, I want to show you guys Job. I, I think I covered it already. The gods who you have chosen in Judges 10. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, going 14, go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen, let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation, and that's the thing, you know, he rewarded me because I waited for him, you know, but, uh, he put that on my head, the diamond demon on my head, you know, um, so basically, um, after this happened, I knew that I was set up. I went and prayed on the God to whom I thought I knew was mine, but wasn't, you know. So he was, at the same time, I was being taught a lesson, right? Um, that night, when they set me up. Um, so basically, after that night, I, I, he over, I overcame by his will, you know. He put, me, he put that spirit on me to shut my mouth. And uh, basically... Um, never forget what I seen and heard that night, all right, and felt, okay, and, oh, uh, yeah, I just remembered, because, uh, Satan tried to enter me, but, there's a scripture, um, but, 
the file. Edit, enter. Yeah, March 7 and 15. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him the things which come out of him. Those are they that defile that the man. And that's basically, I was tripping because Satan also entered into, uh, I think it was Peter. And Judas, surname Isaac, uh, Isaac, being of the number of the twelve. And then, you know, so yeah, basically it's like, it's not what, uh, it's not what enters into you, but what comes out of your mouth, you know. Because we know that the, uh, the, 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 we know that Satan is, uh, he's like an energy, all right? You can't see him just like you can't see the most high. But, uh, that's the thing. He works, he's the author of confusion, so... That's why we're told to prove all things. And when I started seeing my life testimony out in this book, you know, I, you know, I've been studying and trying to um, basically just be doing this as the truth and sincerity as much as possible. Um, so let me bring out, uh, I was like, I overdosed, maybe even died that night. But the moon wisdom entered into me. She talked to me. Mentions throughout 1, 6, and 7, Proverbs 2 and 10. And that's the thing. Like, go to the gates of hell, and many that go unto her shall not return again. And that's why he, he didn't let that holy one to see corruption. Um, we bring that up. Um, verse 18, for her house inclineth unto death, and her past unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take they hold of the past of life. And, uh, and, but if you're righteous, you, you are, you know, when wisdom entered into thy heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, those innumerable evils, okay, but listen to this, he keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints, so that was the education, let me show you guys, uh, educations of learning, let me show you guys, I hope it's, uh, I think it's troubles of troubles of learning. Or, um, no, there's education. There's education in here. Edu education. So like, yeah. Forgive me. Okay. This is the troubles. Second Maccabee seven and twenty-seven. But. She bound herself toward him, the wisdom laughing this cruel tyrant to scorn, spake in her country language on this manner, O oh, oh my son, have pity upon me, that bare thee nine months in my womb, and gave thee such three years. And that's how long I've been in this truth, really, you know, and nourished thee, and brought thee up unto this age, and endured the troubles of education. That's through my wickedness, you know, because wisdom's going to try you, okay? Um, the troubles of education, I beseech thee, my son, look upon the heaven and the earth and all that is therein, and consider that Yahweh, the most like God, made them of things that were not, and so was mankind made likewise. For not this tormentor, but being worthy of thy brethren, take thy death, that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brethren. It was, you know, beautiful. While she was speaking these words, the young man said, Whom wait ye for? I will not obey the king's commandment, but I will obey the commandment of the law that was given unto our father of Moses. And that's what we're going to turn back. Zephaniah 3 and 9. And thou hast been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews. So... Listen to this. Yeah. Thou hast been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews, shall not escape the hands of the Most High God, Yahweh. For we suffer because of our sins, and though the living 
Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shall be angry with us a little while for our chastising and correction, you know, our reproof. Yet shall he be at one again with his servants, his bloodline, his people, the twelve tribes. But thou, O godless man, of all other most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause, nor puffed up with uncertain hopes, lifting up thy hand against the servants of the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem Shai. For thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of Yahweh, the of Almighty Yahweh, the Almighty God, who sees all things. For our brethren, who now have suffered a short pain, are dead under Yahweh's, the Most High God's covenant of everlasting life, but thou through the judgment of the Most High God, Yahweh shall receive just punishment for thy pride. Beautiful. But I, as my brother, offer up my body and life for the laws of our fathers, beseeching Yahweh the Most High God that he would speedily be merciful to our, unto our nation, and that thou, by torments and plagues, Corona, mayest confess that he alone is Yahweh the Most High God, and only he, you know. And that in me and my brethren the wrath of the Almighty Yahweh, which is justly brought upon our nation, may cease. Okay, spoke up. Ooh, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then the king, being the king, being enraged, handed him worse than all the rest, and took it grievously that he was mocked. Hey, and this is a uh, Isaiah uh, forty, uh, fifty three. So this man died undefiled and put his whole trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the Lord. Last of all, you know, last of all, his son was here, you know. Last of all, after the sons, the mother died, and that's the moon. That's, it's, 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 it's some deep, it's, there's, there's going to be some things that happen. But the mother, you got you to gotta understand the sons, the morning stars, the uh, sons of the Most High God. Let this be enough now to have spoken concerning the idea adulterous feasts and the extreme tortures, the tortures in the nights, you know. Um, but let me go back to this. Um, Ecolacticus 1722-23 The elms of a man is as a signet with him, signet in the forehead. You go on Haggai 2 and 23. Let me see if I'm correct. I don't want to be wrong. Haggai 2, 23, yep, yep, and that day, you know, he talks about signum in this, okay, I will make, he says, saith Yahweh, the Lord, and that day, saith Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, will I take thee, O Zuber Bible, my servant, the son of Shatil, saith Yahweh, the Lord, and I'll sock you. And will make thee as a signet, for I have chosen thee, saith Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. And uh, that's what I want to bring it out. The alms of a man is as a signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of a man as the apple of the eye, you know, as beloved, a dove, and give repentance to his sons and daughters. Afterwards, he will rise up and reward them, you know, Barak 3 and 37. The Most High came and visited his people, you know, judge, judgment for his people. Afterwards, he will rise up and reward them and render their recompense upon their heads, seeing his face in my forehead. You know, many should be tried and made white, uh, you know, purified, like spoke of in Daniel, until the time of the end. Uh, Revelation 22 and 4, you know, and then after I seen his face, spoke of in Revelations 22 and 4 also. Um, the second part of Revelation 22 and 4 played out. I had a dream matching 2nd Ezra 14 and 35 and John 17 verse 6 and verse 26. Um, so here's Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken count crafty spiritual warcraft counsel against thy people, which is this graven image and all these other things, okay? Tattoos and whatever happened to me at that in that bar room, okay? Crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Graven images, idol worship. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 20. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, witchcraft. Okay. And the invention of them, the corruption of life. 
Okay, that uh, for neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. And uh, I hope you guys really found this edifying. Call of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekabudah, Shalom. To the elect and the elders.